Good morning. This is a special video for one of my students who's been out because her mommy's about to have a baby. We're starting a new number tracing activity this week. Um, so uh, this is to show the directions, like how I'll be showing the class today. So I'm going to share my screen to the document camera and it'll adjust, hopefully. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So yours will have a cover. Mine does not have a cover. So once you'll put your name on the front cover and then inside whatever number of the day, we're gonna rainbow write it. So starting at the top, like there's an invisible dot, then we're gonna go down and then again, and then again. And then that's your rainbow writing with three different colors. And then you're gonna rainbow write the word. So we'll trace the O, the N, and the E with one color. And then we'll do it again with this color. And it doesn't matter what colors, these are just three that I grabbed from my crayon box. You can use whatever colors you want. And then you'll need your pencil. I'm going to use a pen so that you can see, but I'd like for you to use pencil for this tracing part. Now we're gonna trace the word one. It's a funny word because it doesn't follow the rules of phonics. O N E, okay. And then we're going to add number identification, circle the number one. So it's up to, I'll leave it up to you if you want to use a pencil. Um, probably would be better because if you accidentally circle the wrong number, then you can erase it. But if you choose to use crayon, that's okay too. If you make a mistake, just put an X for your circle. So I'm going to look, since this book is about the number one, I'm looking for that number one. I'm going to circle, circle. And I love this that it has different fonts and things. So we're looking for all the number ones. Okay, oh, and there's one, and there's one. Okay. And then you will turn the page. Now, here's a 10 frame. When these get all full, you know you have 10. I'm going out of focus. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. So you're just going to color how many for our number. So for today, it's the number one and I'm going to use a crayon and I like to trace the boxes that I'm going to color so I can trace nice and neat, okay? Then I'm going to switch to my, for you, you'll switch your pencil. I'm switching to a pen so you can see. And we're going to trace the number one, number one, straight line down, starting from the top, going down all the way. Okay, awesome. And then we're going to turn the page. Yours will be printed double-sided. <laughs> you know, the, this one is really fun. This one is a number maze and you're gonna start right here and you're gonna end right here. So this is very similar to our letter maze that we're, do, we're doing for our letter of the day. So what I would encourage you to do is just put a line through and find your ones. Look all the way around <clears throat> and just put a line through. There we go. There's our trail. And each number book is going to be a little different. And then go back and color. Okay. Well, it doesn't have to be colored in all the way. That's Lynn. She did, <laughs> she did that with us, with um, us second graders in kindergarten. Actually, this is a brand new activity that your class for kindergarten and for first grade 
did not do. I just found it the other day. I so mean, it's brand letters, new. Like the, like yeah, with the, the letters line. we did. It's like the line and the color. In it. Yeah, because that way, if you accidentally, oh, I'm just la la la, oopsies. Oopsies, yeah. I accidentally put a line through Number a five. five. Oopsies, but that's okay because now I'm going back and coloring. So I'm just not going to color that because that's not the number that this book is about. That actually happened to me once. And it's very helpful. And then we just, we're not going to worry about that. Yeah. Okay. And then your next page, you're going to add the number of apples to your tree. So this number book is about the number one. So I'm going to add one great big apple and i'm gonna give it a leaf because it's got to hang on by something okay so when it's a number two book you'll draw two when it's a number three book you'll draw three okay it goes all, all right up to 10. and then actually it goes all the way up to 20. okay so now we're going to color the squares that show one object okay hmm one two three four Nope, that's not the one I'm looking for. Oh, look, one ducky. Oh, one ducky, so I'm going to color. Ducky. Oh, it says color the squares. So it probably wants me to color the whole square. Okay, and one, two, three, fish. Oh, there's one cow. Cool, and, the, and one muffin. And there's two frogs. Is that a muffin or a cupcake? I don't know. Because if it was a cupcake, it, it would have frosting. Now these are tallies. Oh, no. We've talked a little bit about tallies. I don't know why we keep going out of focus. I'm sorry. So this is not 111. This is actually one, two, three. So sometimes it will show you in a picture like tallies. So you can find the rest of the one pictures on that page. Then your last page, you're going to, let's rainbow write our number word again. Because writing the number word is really important. Okay. And then you're going to try and read the sentences. Okay. It's okay if you can't yet. Okay. And touch each dot. I see, there's our number word, one dog. O N E. Okay. I see one, what's that? Cat. I see one fish. fish. O N E. I see one bird. bird. Okay, all right. And then that is your number book for some extra number writing practice. I'll stop the share so you can see me again. And we miss you, and we're gonna be praying for you that baby comes safely. All right, see you later.